Good morning. As you know, MultiPoint has newly adopted Haiku as its learning management system. This will replace Moodle for us at the school district. This is where teachers will post assignments, announcements, activities, and things of that nature for both parents and students as well as administration to access. This morning, we're going to look at Technology and Education, which is my Haiku site. And within that site, we're going to look at how to add content to a page. This is your page. We're going to look at how to add additional pages to a site. And we'll also look at retitling the pages within that site. So as I said, we're going to begin with adding content to a Haiku page. To do so, very obviously, you simply click on Add Content Block. Once you click on the Add Content block, you have several options. You have on-page text, which is where you can type whatever text, with some limited formatting for that text as well. Web links, this is where you can link other websites to your Haiku page. You can upload files, like homework assignments for the students. There's Word, PowerPoint, Excel, PDF, you can even upload some zip files. You can add images to your Haiku page, audio, video, and you have several other options as well that we'll look at a little bit later. To start, we're going to look at adding basic text to a Haiku page. To do so, simply click on Add Page Text. Once that loads, you will want to give your page a title. We'll title this academic and technology. I had some test copies, so we'll just paste that in. Like I said, you have a limited formatting toolbar that you can utilize. Once your text is in place and you've proofread and you're happy with what you see, simply go to the bottom of that page and click Save. And yes, it is just that simple. Haiku is very user friendly with a very low learning curve. That's one reason our school district is so very excited about it. So now that we've added text to our page, let's go back and add a web link. Again, to add a web link, click the Add Content block. This time, choose Web Link. Once that loads, give that block a title. You can add a short description if you like. Once you're happy with your short description, come down the page to link, and you can type in the web link you want to access. You can also copy and paste that in here as well. You can add labels, add additional links, or simply click Save. And as you can see, by default, it adds that to the top of the page. And if that's not where you want it, simply click it and drag it to where you want that block placed. As you can see, everything is created separately. It makes managing your page very simple. You can move everything around until you feel you have a comfortable fit for what works with you. Again, simply click and drag place the block where you would like them. So there's my text basically introducing the page. Now I have a web link that will take me to Mercer's training. Let's add a file. We'll simply add a random file for training purposes. Again, click on Add Content Block. This time, we'll click on File. 
to type random document here. Click next. And as you would browse for any do document or file on a computer, you do so here as well. Click browse. I select something from my desktop. Double click. It will load. Click upload. And now it will upload to your Haiku site. You can give it a brief description or simply click finish. And again, by default, it goes to the top of the page. Just drag it and drop it to where you would like that to go. So that's enough content for now. We'll come back at looking at looking at adding videos and graphics and things of that nature a little bit later. Let's move on to discuss how to add additional pages. Simply go to the Pages tab in the upper left hand corner, click on the plus page icon. You'll be given the option to title your page. We will title this one Learner Assessment. The wonderful thing in educational technology is we have a way, several ways, of assessing students in a manner that gives them the immediate feedback that they need. Not to digress very far, but to simply touch on the fact that when you give a student a paper-based test and you take it up and you grade it and they don't get that paper back until a week later, the students have often lost interest in the content on the page and now they're simply interested in the grade. Whereas if we use the technology we have available, like the assessment piece in Haiku, to allow them that immediate feedback, it does a lot more for the learning process. So now we've titled our page. You can determine where you want that page to be positioned. I'm asking it to position at the bottom of the list of pages, and it gives you a brief preview of where that page will be listed. Click Save. And there, we have a brand new page ready for content to be added. And finally, we're going to add, I'm sorry, we're going to change the title of this page. To do so, click in the bar where the title is located. We're going to double click, get our cursor, simply back that information out. And this time we'll type utilizing technology to assess learning. Click Save. And as you can see, it changes the page in your left navigation bar as well. That's all we're going to cover in this tutorial today. Please join us in the future tutorials to cover Calendar, Connect, where you would add a set of um, announcements and ways to communicate with your students, and also to discuss how to assess students utilizing Moodle. In future tutorials, we'll also discuss how to manage your page, when and how to publish your content, and how to add students to your page as well. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial. I look forward to future tutorials with you.